بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم عرفان حسین اینڈ ٹوڈے از پوئٹ از توفیق رفات توفیق رفات نے ہیز بین فیمس پاکستانی پوئٹ بورن ان نائنٹین ٹوینٹی سیون اینڈ پاس ان نائنٹین نائنٹی ایٹ از ون آف دا فاؤنڈر پاکستان ان اسپیشلی ان انگلش لٹریچر and our today's poem is kitchen in this poem he compared our traditional kitchens with the modern kitchens and he um, made a kind of juxtaposition of uh, the traditional conservative orthodox kitchen of uh, and uh, the modern kitchen a uh, western kitchen and he also brought out the points and uh, the elements and the traditions that uh, that were attached with our traditional kitchens and that have been lost now with the arrival of the modern kitchen so how he starts the kitchens were places we grew up in these were the places where we grew and um, what does he mean by growing in the kitchens because kitchen is a symbol of life kitchen is a symbol of um, food nutrition and growth and uh, when he says that we grew up in it means that the kitchen was not a place that was only meant for the food but there are other elements of life that have been attached with those kitchens high roofed spacious they are practices high roofed and spacious we know that this is a culture of subcontinent especially the ancient subcontinent where the roofs were high because um, uh, these are warm temperature areas in our country in on all subcontinent and the traditional roofs and orthodox homes uh, had high roofs and the word high roof and spacious is symbolic as well because it tells that uh, these kitchens had space space for all the family space for the guests and they say that the these kitchen attracted us why these kitchens attracted us because these kitchens were not only the buildings and not only for, meant for the food but also they were the monument of love and affection with pungency of smoke and spices and this is not only now uh, about the kitchen but also the foods that uh, that were cooked that were made in the kitchens these uh, were the traditional foods with the, the traditional uh, aroma with their tradition uh, feeling and um, Uh, still we feel when uh, we uh, that, that smoke is uh, in fact the smoke that is getting out of the hut is uh, the symbol of life for example you are moving in some uh, deserted place and at a far end you some way you see some smoke and that smoke will uh, tell you that it is uh, about um, life this is life from december beds we hurried to cheer december beds it means that now the weather is cold and uh, uh, out of their beds the poet says that he and his other siblings they used to hurry uh, towards the kitchen because uh, not only that their meal was ready but also that they wanted to enjoy the warmth and that warm was not only a fire but that warm was of uh, relations as well we hurried to cheer a wood fires above which sang black kettles we know that uh, tofik rafat is famous for using imagery and he uh, makes a wonderful usage of imagery wood fires that wood fire has its own impact a fire that is made out of wood that he has his own effect uh, rather than uh, the modern way of cylinders and other things above which sang black kettles 
catches are black because they were put on wood fire they uh, they got their color black and they sang and what is being cooked there or what is being boiled inside the kettle the noise of that um, boiling water or liquid or uh, cook, um, cooking the food that is being cooked is also very attractive attractive for all and what he says now once there we dawdled over last night's curry uh, this is a culture this is also part of culture most often what happens in our kitchens that uh, the curry the salon of the last night is used in the morning and uh, fresh bread dripping from the saucepan eggs and even lasting bowls of tea so these bowls pearly of tea is also part of our culture and although this is uh, not very uh, common in cities now but uh, in our villages still it is uh, uh, beautifully used and that these bowls have their own effects these have their own feelings and emotions in in, in them so this is what uh, tofik rifat is um, uh, giving here and this is what he misses in his uh, of modern life that we will see in the next part of the poem bowl of tea the this is running line that uh, the line that uh, completes in the next line and discussions centered on parameters so this is not only an activity that is about food only but what happened that um, uh, people all uh, get uh, get around uh, sit around the mother and mother is always center of the, the kitchen and always the center of the home and uh, in traditional homes we still see that uh, the home of the mother is always the center of all family uh, activities so what uh, they used to discuss the um, parameters about the births about the deaths about the marriages crops a mother beside contributing only her presence busy lattling lattling a, a mother is busy she is doing his work with her ladle and uh, she is doing with work with uh, making bread and uh, but she uh, keeps on contributing from her side and she is always presiding that that activity we can imagine we still we have in our culture these kind of activities in at homes and that noise of lattling um, that doi that is being used in in the kettle or in the handi that was formed that was also warmth uh, and the warmth was player pleasant and uh, this is what he says about the traditional and orthodox kitchens and now he is moving to the next part of his poem that is now what happens in he says Uh, the warmth now in these cramped spaces cramped let's see he, he starts with the uh, f- uh, spacious the word spacious in the first part and the second part now when he compares it with the modern kitchen he starts the cramped with cramped spaces those kitchens were having or oh, great spaces and now the kitchens have cramped spaces this is not only the about the building it is about uh, also about the, the habits of people those traditional people uh, were very good host they always welcome the guests they always uh, have great space for uh, the arriving people and now people do not like guests the people do not open their doors for guests they are always in hurry so they don't have any time to give to give to their Uh, relatives or kids there's no time for talk that is actually matter we don't have any time to talk each, to each other to discuss things with each other and uh, a stainless homogeneity wings back our sneers the kitchens are stainless but they are homogeneous they have, they are like what becker says that everything is uh, going in a circular way the day is open we eat we go to job comes back sleep and then again the next day is in the same routine and the kitchen in the, is in the same 
shape and same outlook this is what uh, tofik regrets and he says that uh, these kitchen winks back our sneers they laugh at us they mock at us chairs are insular the word insular that tells about isolation we sit in the chairs of the dining table and we are isolated from one another uh, they do not encourage intimacy like slats the slats the uh, you can see the upper picture the picture above the slats these uh, the wood pieces that in the long way uh, these these are slats and uh, Uh, we had these types of chairs and uh, other things to sit on in our kitchens or at our homes and he what he says that these things had uh, intimacy these things has an impact for love but these tables the table tux palace these table where we don't have even space to sit comfortably we cannot sit comfortably we don't have space for ourselves in these tables and how we can have space for others we would not dream of coming this place to save our trumps or unburden our griefs this is an, another comparison that the modern kitchens are not meant like that that we could come here we can we could do kind of catharsis here we could enjoy our uh, victories we could enjoy our success here or we could unburden our griefs no we cannot do anything and this is what was a function of the traditional kitchen that we used to do all these things in our these traditional kitchens around our mothers crummy moment formica have replaced a textured homeliness of plaster teak everything is clean as a hospital what is this now this is chromium and formica and what that rough texture things that were used in our kitchens and the things that were made of teak of a specific wood they have been replaced by now these chromium and, and formica the artificial the con the, the these images imagery says that all these things were natural and now all these things are artificial and the life was natural and real and the life is now artificial everything is clean as a hospital and what is that hospital hospital is the end of life kitchen is a beginning of life see the imagery from now beginning of the life we have moved to the end of life there are other many deep meanings in the hospital you can think over it the soulless clock where once the liquor can father swung clicks forward swiftly now on the wall where there used to be the picture of grandfather and the picture of grandfather has been replaced with the clock and the clock keeps on moving swiftly and we also move with the clock we do not have space we do not have time and we keep on moving and we keep up running with clock we are differential to players of electro uh, electric toast now we give respect to this electric toast we do do not have curry we do not have dripping uh, eggs from saucepan we do not have all these things we are just having a toast and take our last cup standing up and we are in such a hurry in such a hurry that we cannot sit and we just get our last cup and go outside the home for our job or other activities so this was a uh, comparison of the traditional kitchen their beauty their warmth their natural feeling everything has been replaced now with this artificial technology and artificial feeling and artificial uh, actions so this was all about kitchen and the next we will come with the usage of imagery that has been used in kitchen i hope that you could have i would have understood it if you have any question you may ask me thank you very much god bless you